the uh, uh, you know the, the 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 hip strike portion of this, but uh, I would invite you to go back and watch those videos. Okay, um, now Brian Blackman is our tight ends coach, right at UCF, and he says men why men lie, women lie, children lie, but the Crowther never lies. Okay, and that's Coach Blackman. Give him a little shout out there. All right. And here's the here's what we're talking about with the Crowther sled, okay? One of the great things about it is it gives you instant feedback, okay? What we're trying to do, and we're going to get through the progression of this. This is where we're trying to work a single man post, what we call a Crowther post, a single man post on a sled. And it gives you instant feedback as to whether you're doing a drill right or not. On this particular snap, right, the thing that's too thick, where it says too thick right there is not, I'm not talking about this guy. That guy's a little bit too thick right now as well. You know, uh, he got a little thick during, uh, during uh, the COVID. Okay. I didn't get the COVID-19, but I certainly put on the COVID-19, maybe a little bit more. All right. But I'm not talking about the big thickness back here. I'm talking about how thick my man is on the sled and the sled is going to spin away from you. Okay. If you're not in great half-man leverage and balance on this sled, right, it's going to give you instant feedback. So there's a rep right there where our, where our guard is too thick on the sled, and it spins away. All right, here's another rep. Here he gets too thin, okay? And you can see right now where he's striking that sled. He is too thin on the sled. It's going to spin away, Right. I've got my little hand whistle now. I mean, what are we doing with these hand whistles, right? Let's get a dang whistle back out and get the whistle blowing again instead of blowing a dang button, okay? But I got the hand whistle out, right? And I'm, I'm, I'm as soon as he struck the sled and started to drive it right there, I'm going, all right, he's too thin. It's going to spin out on him. I got to get the whistle blown. So what we're looking for is great half-man leverage, all right? And here now, as we, as we progress through the spring, and we spent a lot of time on this Crowther sled during the spring, okay, working on these techniques and fundamentals, right? And, uh, and this is just right, okay? Maybe a little high, maybe a little high on contact. I like, obviously, to uh, get our hips down, right, get our hip level down, to get our pad level down so that we're hitting up underneath that angle, okay, to lift this sled. So maybe a little high, but he's in great half-man leverage, and now you can see that sled is driving uh, back vertically, okay? Here's something I want you to note as well, right? If you look over here, this area over here where all the green grass is, that's where the seven-on-seven seven coaches are. They got the nice grass field, got nice lines on it and all that stuff, right? And here we are over in this area, okay? with all the toys. This is what they call the toy land, right? It's where all of our sleds are, right? And, uh, and uh, we're, we're getting back, all right? And get to where we start to get in. How do we teach the progression uh, to get guys where they can operate on the Crowther sled, okay? Uh, with, with proper half man uh, technique and fundamentals, okay? So we're gonna back this thing up. We're going to get our guys down. This is old school stuff right here, right? This is back when, you know, I remember going into six-point stance. Hey, guys, get in a six-point stance. We're going to work on striking. Sometimes, you know, back in uh, when I was playing, right, we may get a full, uh, a full hat on the sled and strike with our hands, okay? But we're going to start with our half-man stuff by working and striking with the shoulder, okay, the forearm, and, uh, and the, the, that upper arm to create some blocking surface, okay? And again, I would go back and I would, you know, I would encourage you to go back. If you're interested in, in developing uh, uh, your technique and fundamentals on the sled, go back and watch the Bob McKittrick video about the pendulum swing of the arm. I didn't get into the pendulum swing of the arm, okay? Because I want to be able to get through uh, this in the time that we have. But it progresses to where we're striking half man, all right, and creating that blocking surface uh, with our arm, with our with our with the top of the shoulder pad, the arm, and the forearm to try to create that blocking surface. Now, what I love about this, just this drill, it's simple as that, is the hip extension. 
okay, and driving through the hips. Now, what I would like to see, right, is get your heads up, get your eyes up, okay? And I'm gonna show you an example of that here in a minute when we take the next kind of step into progression, okay? And what we do when we, uh, when we first start talking through, uh, you know, installing Crowther concepts, okay, is we work a double man on the sled, okay? It's going to help teach and give them a feel for the sled and then you progress to where you put a single man on the sled, okay? But this is the first step in the drills and it's just a six point uh, hip explosion. I'm driving through the arms. I wanna do it on both sides. So we're gonna rep everybody through, okay? And we're gonna do both sides. They're gonna flip sides. So they're getting where they're striking with both arms and feeling that half man leverage on both sides, okay? All right, next. All right, now we're going to come out of a three-point stance or a two-point stance. I've got an example of both right here. And all we're working now is coming off the ball, moving our feet into the sled, right, and still striking through the sled, just like we were a second ago from the six-point uh, stance, right, is, is striking through the sled, right, and bringing the hips, okay? I love 65 right here. You can see now he overemphasizes it, which I, which is great, okay, by throwing the head. But you look at that position he's in, he's throwing the head back, overemphasizing a little bit, okay? But I want to see that reverse arc in the back. I want to see the hips come through, okay? 73 here is a little bit thin on the sled, and he can feel it, and you can look at the difference in his body. You see that angle? Look at the difference between 73 and 65 here, okay? 73 is a little bit thin, right? Again, it's a two man, this is a two man drill just so they can get the feel for it. And we're not bringing our feet and driving yet. We're just trying to strike and snap the hips through and then we'll stop our feet right there. So this is the second step in the progression. You go from the six point, which again, when you talk about a six point stance, what do we got? We got our hands down, we got our knees down, we got our toes on the ground, okay? That's why they call it six-point stance, right? Now I've got three-point stance, two-point stance. We're stepping in. We want to, like right here, this is our right tackle. He's taking a right foot lead step as if he's blocking a four-eye and striking and driving the hip up, okay? Hip through, okay? Our left guard, right? If we were running uh, an inside zone to the left, let's say that he had a uh, – an inside technique, okay? He's taking a lead step with his left foot. That's a great position there. And he's striking and driving the hip up and through, all right? All right, then we get into chips, okay? Now we're gonna take it one step further, okay? We're basically gonna do the same movement, right? Strike and drive, bring the hips through. Now we wanna come off as if we're climbing to a backer, Okay, snapping off on a second level defender, which I'm going to show you examples of chips here in a minute. There are two types of chips. Okay, we can have a what we call a post chip, right? This would be a Crowther post chip, right knee high post chip. Let's say that again, let's say that he's blocking a G, okay, and the backer triggers and he's got to snap off on the backer. Okay, here's our right tackle, all right. Could be a uh, could be a right guard working uh, working a combo with the center on the to the front side and the backer triggers right tackle versus a four eye right snapping off coming through the four eye backer triggers snap off and climb fit up on the backer now we will progress this drill there's so much stuff you can do with this sled that's what makes it an awesome piece of equipment as well. We'll progress this drill like I saw Alex was doing, which by the way, that uh, shiver sled um, drill that Alex did was awesome, was awesome, okay? And I'm gonna find a way to incorporate that into, into, uh, into our drill progression uh, at UCF as well. But just like Alex was doing on the shiver sled where he's banging the shiver sled and then fitting up on a second level defender with the med balls, we, we'll put a linebacker back here at times, have him fit down so that our guys have a second level target to fit to. Right now, we're just working on snapping the hips through, climbing up, hitting the whistle. Next guys are up. 